Hello, I'm Jerry Louie again. I'm going to show you how I my modified onglet graver, right-sided onglet number two graver, is going to be used in the inside of the bezel wall on an oval 8 by 6 millimeter faceted stone. You will see how my own graver is now going to start bright cutting on the inside of the, the wall. And you can see the little flange of metal being removed from the inside of the wall. I'm doing two things at once. I'm going forward with my right hand and I'm going and I'm turning my left hand also to the right and I'm making the curve towards the left. So basically I'm doing two things at once. My graver is not touching the facets at all. If it is, it's maybe one, one or two of the facets, but it will not leave a serrated edge on the inside of the wall of the bezel. It is phenomenal. I could not do this with a flat graver. Now you can see the little curl of metal being extruded from the little onglet I'm using. If I used a flat graver, it would be riding against the facets of the stone, and every time I my graver hits the facet, it'll leave a little lines inside the bezel wall, and that is not a nice thing to see. Now I'm just going to touch this up, put some oil on my graver, make it easy to cut, and it's going to turn out nice. But, you know, I prefer my onglet graver. Leaves me a very fine, very fine finish. What I will do also is to show you that I'm using a thumb guard. Why a thumb guard? Because the bottom of the graver might be digging into my finger, and that is a not nice thing to have done. When you're going to be polishing the ring, you can get uh, pumice, you can get your uh, pumice, and you can get your. Uh, rouge and triply inside the cut, next thing you know you get an infection. So try avoid having the graver sitting on ordinary flesh. I prefer to have it on our thumb guard. And I will examine this with my loop and say fantastic. It is bright, it's unbelievably beautiful. And when that is done, then I'm going to use my pumice wheel and clean up the whole ring afterwards. And here you can see the little edge. It's a bit hard to see through a loop and my close-up lens, but it is very, very bright. Trust me. It is remarkable. Remember, the only part of the graver that is touching uh, touching the stone is the very point of the graver, not the flat edge on the flat graver. And you can barely see, but trust me, it's a very clean finish all the way around. And I still have metal to polish and clean and pumice, and it's going to have a lot of security 